I have friends, but I wish I had a deeper connection with people. The challenge for me is being able to understand their emotions and their feelings. I'm not one to talk on the phone. I don't like it. I have anxiety just thinking about it. I think the biggest thing with accessibility for me would be the sensory overload I experience on a daily basis. And so just having to deal with the constant uh, sensory input with bright lights, loud noises, trying to figure out directions are often an accessibility barrier to me. Um, I'm not one to talk on the phone. I don't like it. I have anxiety just thinking about it. Um, so because I have to have my social scripts with me. So I do find that to be hard because most people like that interaction in person. Um, I have epilepsy, so I cannot drive. And I did struggle a lot. I had no way to get around except through Uber. So, you know, having, but with the pandemic recently, honestly, accessing has been so much easier. I've noticed companies are, you know, updating their websites so they're easier to navigate. Workshops are now being offered virtually. And this just, this is great for me. So when it comes to like um, being in, having friendships and relationships and stuff like that, um, a challenge for me is being able to understand their emotions and their feelings um, and to also communicate ish problems I have going on with me. I might have I might have a tendency to think that they don't understand what I'm going through or don't understand how my feel, or how I feel about different things. So that can be a challenge um, as well. I want others to know I want to be with them. I want to call them my friends, but can't get my body to do it. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that, um, like, if I have, like, an overly formal conversational style or if I'm stimming a little bit, they think that that means that something's wrong with me or that I'm being standoffish or that um, I'm, like, a crazy person. And then they kind of treat me differently or, like, talk down to me or things like that. You know, I have friends, but I wish I had a deeper connection with people. I struggle to connect with people, and I often feel like people are speaking an entirely different language. Um, I can have difficulty with the flow of a conversation, especially in larger groups. No one ever tells you when it's your turn to speak. So I have a hard time figuring out where I can get into the conversation. I also have very high social anxiety, which makes it difficult in general. Unreliable communication is a barrier for many autistic people. It is so hard to find friends that we can talk with because there are not enough people who have access to communication. Opportunities for friendships and community are limited. I am hopeful that there are amazing people who are coming together to create opportunities. Friends are needed to know we are not alone.